Thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm Tammy Field. And I'm Greg Angel. Let's get right to your top stories and weather in 90 seconds. Orlando police tonight still looking for the gunman who opened fire in downtown Orlando early Sunday morning. Seven people were injured. An online website has now been set up where you can submit any evidence. OrlandoPD.evidence.com. Despite warnings from election action groups, the Lake County Supervisor of Elections says voters should have confidence in the vote by mail process with primaries just right around the corner. Due to a Florida statute, elections offices cannot tell you if there's a discrepancy in your voter information. Outdated information could prevent you from submitting your ballot. Well, there's under two hours left to get your application in to host an event in downtown Orlando. Applications close at 11:59 for special event grant programs to submit yours. Check out downtownorlando.com. Well, a lot of us have been hearing some of the rumbles of thunder mm -hmm. and whatnot. I just checked uh, Duke Power, about 2,000 homes in parts of Orange County without power. OUC, they've got a handful of power outages. There's too. been a strong line of storms. Let's get a quick check right now. The weather with certified meteorologist Mallory Nichols. You've been busy over there this evening. Yeah, that's right. We did have those two severe thunderstorm warnings in the area that is reporting the power outages. So not surprised that uh, there have been a few reports. And as we look at Kleistron 13, I'm going to take you in. No longer any warnings, but there is still a strong storm that is in southern Orange County, northwestern Osceola County. You can see that lightning count is still up over 200, but I want to take that off and switch over to our velocities because notice the brighter greens here around the airport, Meadowwoods, Taft. This is still showing wind gusts over 50 miles per hour and is sliding off to the east at about 10 miles per hour. So we'll be dealing with storms storms here over the next couple of hours. Incidents like this cannot and should not happen in our downtown. Tonight, Orlando police still looking for information, videos, photos, details, anything related to a downtown Orlando shooting. It happened early Sunday morning. Fires were just closing at 2 a.m. as someone opened fire. In the end, the chaos injured seven people. And at this hour, police still don't have any suspect information. They're asking any witnesses to come forward. Now, a submission form has been set up online for tips. You can submit photos, videos, orlandopd.evidence.com. Now, Mayor Dyer says changes are coming to the downtown bar scene. That's right. He says there will now be six access points to get into downtown as soon as this weekend. Where those are going to be going is still being discussed. However, the mayor says he does expect each one to be staffed with Orlando police officers with K-9. As an example, though, he says checkpoints were used during a few holidays in the past. Uh, one is this checkpoint map used during Cinco de Mayo. So to get your bearings here, right down the middle, that's North Orange Avenue. Checkpoints were put in at Washington Street. Also, either side of North Orange and Central Boulevard and Pine Street. There's also going to be voluntary weapons checks. It will um, hopefully be a deterrent to those that want to come into downtown to do bad things and not for a good purpose. If they have a concealed weapons permit, they're allowed to carry a gun. If they don't have a concealed weapons permit and we detect that they have a weapon, then they're illegally carrying a weapon and we can seize that. Mayor Dyer says that his hands are really tied when it comes to keeping guns at all together because of laws passed by the Republican-led state legislature. However, he hopes this will be a deterrent to keep people out who are looking to do harm. Yeah, Spectrum News 13's Asher Wildman. He is live for us in downtown Orlando tonight. And Asher kind of gauging the mayor's ideas with local business owners. You say there's some mixed reviews. Greg, Tammy, several bar owners were telling me off camera today that really what they want to see more of downtown is a police presence by foot, not just on bicycle, but just patrolling the area, specifically Church Street and Orange Avenue. But then you have other restaurants and bars, such as the Cucina Pizza and Bar, that tell me they're really open and optimistic these changes will be more favorable to families looking to have a night out in downtown Orlando. Downtown Orlando has bars, plenty of them, 
for what it lacks, Albatross Rexa at Cugina Pizza and Bar is hoping to cook up with dining customers. So we felt like Church Street being as secluded as it is nowadays and not as popular as it used to be, it's really lacking a lot of family-friendly environment. Mayor Buddy Dyer has been saying that same sentiment since his State of the City address earlier this year. And once again on Monday. You know, we don't have the right mix of stuff downtown right now. We have more bars than we probably need downtown. Um, certainly it's a different crowd after 12 o'clock. And it's both crowds Albatross is fortunate to see. Downtown workers who go on for lunch and family meals is half of his business. Six o'clock. I usually recommend the Penal Vodka. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> The late night crowd after 10 or 11 is the other for pizza and late night bar munchies. We have chicken wings and tenders here. We're open late seven days a week. You know, if it's an event night, we're up until two in the morning here, making sure that everyone gets fed and everyone's happy. The heightening of security measures downtown will likely begin this Friday or next weekend. Business owners like Albatross know how important a positive downtown experience is moving forward for both his employees and customers. They need a place that's comfortable, where they can make money, pay their bills, and have also feel safe. So that doesn't go just for my employees, it also goes for the customers. So it's both ways. Mayor Dyer is hoping the building of a vibrant downtown continues, but also admits he wants a gun free downtown. With all these procedures now coming to downtown Orlando, one thing that will not change, according to Mayor Dyer, is the time that the bars close. That will remain two in the morning. Reporting live in downtown Orlando, Asher Wildman for Spectrum News. Thank you, Asher. Orlando police tonight still looking for video, photos, and any information regarding the shooting that happened early Sunday morning. If you know anything, you are urged to contact Crime Line. That number on your screen, 1 800 423 TIPS. You can remain anonymous. A uh, shooting in Apopka this morning killed a 42 year old man just after 10 o'clock. Police were called to an area, Robinson Avenue, where two people, officers say, got into a fight. And it all ended in gunfire. Popka police say they do have a person in custody as they continue their investigation. The United States delivering another big blow to one of the best known terrorist networks. The CIA killed Al Qaeda's leader in a weekend attack. President Joe Biden addressing the nation earlier tonight about the mission that came as a drone strike in Afghanistan's capital of Kabul. And this deputy previously serving under Osama bin Laden during the 9-11 terrorist attacks. He led the group after U.S. Navy SEALs killed bin Laden in 2011. After carefully considering the clear and convincing evidence of his location, I authorized a precision strike that would remove him from the battlefield once and for all. This mission was carefully planned, rigorously minimized the risk of harm to other civilians. And one week ago, after being advised that the conditions were optimal, I gave the final approval to go get him. And the mission was a success. None of his family members were hurt and there were no civilian casualties. Biden says the U.S. maintains capabilities of attacking inside Afghanistan even after the U.S. military withdrawal last year. There is a lot of launches and a bombard man is blue origin bound. When he's expected to blast off and the battle full of launches scheduled for this week. We'll get into that, but we've got some storms mm -hmm. and some power outages happening here tonight. Certified meteorologist Mallory Nichols keeping tabs on that. Yeah, that's right. We do have still a few strong storms that are impacting our Monday night. I'll show you how long they stick around, where they're going for you all coming up on your weather on the ones.